One of Louisville's most notorious killers, Ricky Kelly, is out of prison tonight. Hello, everyone, and thank you for staying up a little late with us tonight. I'm Doug Prophet. Here on the night team, he was released today from the Eastern Kentucky Correctional Complex in West Liberty, Kentucky. WHS 11 night team's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie have more from one former Louisville Metro police officer who was involved in this case. Taylor. Doug, today David James is a deputy mayor in the Greenberg administration, but he once worked as a narcotic detective for Louisville Metro Police during Ricky Kelly's violent crime spree. James says Ricky Kelly's release concerns him greatly now that he is back on the streets. Ricky Lewis Kelly, known as one of Louisville's notorious killers, is free. A free man after serving eight years, five months, and ten days in an eastern Kentucky prison. Now, do you have any objection to going Kelly was sentenced to ten years in November of 2017 after pleading guilty to manslaughter in the 2005 death of Loiwante Jackson. But three years before that, he was indicted on eight counts of murder. It concerns me greatly. Uh, he was involved uh, with a lot of bad things that happened here in our city. And so to know that he's not in prison anymore is very concerning. The current deputy mayor, David James, was working as a narcotics detective for Louisville Metro Police. He still remembers the eight murders Kelly was tied to, but never faced charges for, including the death of Gail Duncan, a narcotics drug informant who was gunned down in front of her nine-year-old daughter at her home in 1996. The connections he has to homicides in our community are um, something like I've never seen before, quite frankly. Ricky Kelly was connected to the murder of 20-year-old Deron Cole. Cole was a former Eastern High School student who was gunned down back in 2005. However, Kelly was never convicted or charged in Cole's death. In 2017, prosecutors shared they didn't have enough evidence to connect Kelly to any other murders, only manslaughter and the death of one man, Lawante Jackson. In the criminal justice system, um, there are people uh, that uh, sometimes have the ability uh, to slip through the system and use the law to their side to get away with certain things. James says the only people who should be concerned now that Kelly is free are those who are involved in some of Kelly's illegal activity at that time. And a Kentucky Department of Corrections spokesperson says per state statute, Kelly was required to serve 85% of that 10-year sentence. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side.